If it is our destiny to explore, which I believe it is, then the International Space Station is the next step. Russia says it's pulling out of the International Space Station after 2024. We've seen Russia's statement that uh, it plans to leave the International Space Station after 2024. Uh, it's an unfortunate development given the critical scientific work performed at the ISS. The International Space Station is perhaps the only project in modern history where enemies like Russia and the United States have collaborated. It was launched into space about 23 years ago on 20th November 1998 from a launch pad in southern Kazakhstan, which was leased to Russia. The goal of the ISS was to enable long-term space exploration, conduct research, and provide benefits to the people on Earth. Yes. Astronauts do a lot of work besides popping the water bubbles in zero gravity. It was going well and working seemingly fine for both countries and for the world, of course. But reports suggest that Russia is planning to build its own space station. But why? We will take a deeper look. Stay with us. Here is a bit on what the International Space Station has done so far or is doing. State-of-the-art laboratories which are equipped with sophisticated equipment to facilitate scientists with the different types of research. The partnership is still going on and it has yielded several beneficial results for the humans on Earth. About 700 breakthrough researches have been published in different journals. Insight into cancer treatment, understanding of the fragility of the human body, interplanetary contamination, cosmic rays, dark matters are a few noticeable examples. The International Space Station was a project that was considered above from geopolitics and served as a symbol of uniting humanity for decades. But things do not always remain the same especially when two of the world's giants are involved. Russia has announced that it will leave the International Space Station after 2024 and launch its own similar project afterward. But the questions are, why is Russia leaving the International Space Station? What does it mean for the ISS? And most importantly, should we be worried about Russia's ambitions? There has been a sense that the ISS is starting to become a bargaining chip of some sorts of international relations between the United States, in particular, and Russia. Professor Wendy Whitman Cobb explained in a lecture at the U.S. Air Force's School of Advanced Air and Space Studies. Back in 1998, the technology was not as advanced as it is today and countries had to rely on each other for massive projects like the International Space Station. Geopolitics was not supposed to influence the operations of ISS, and it remained the case until Russia and the United States began their individual journeys of space exploration. The two countries started using the partnership of ISS to coerce other countries into making decisions in their favor. A classic example of it was the annexation of the Crimea Peninsula back in 2014. Russia occupied the southern part of Ukraine and pressured the U.S. into accepting it using the ISS. At that time, U.S. had no choice but to give in to Russian demands as NASA astronauts required training to travel on Russian Soyuz, which was the only way to get to ISS back then. When the U.S. threatened sanctions against Russia for invasion of Crimea, it responded back with the warning that it would stop sending astronauts to space. So the news that Russia has finally announced to end of the partnership on ISS should not come as a surprise given the world's reaction to its invasion of Ukraine. Some speculate that it is a mere false warning and a threat to blackmail the world into endorsing or staying silent on the recent Ukrainian invasion. But some recent events suggest otherwise. Russia recently blew up a defunct spy satellite with an anti-satellite missile. The debris of the satellite endangered the ISS but luckily it was left unharmed. But it showed that not only Russia has the capabilities to shoot down satellites, but is also willing to endanger its own ISS cosmonauts. Five agencies played a key role in the development and deployment of the International Space Station, which included NASA from the US, Russian Roscosmos, Japanese JXA, and Canada's CSA. Essentially, the project relied on these four agencies for funding to launch and maintain its operations. The U.S. and Russia certainly had greater stakes, and hence the withdrawal of either one of them could have halted the project. But things have changed since then. 
More than 15 different countries have joined the ISS and contribute to the funding that is required. So the stakes of each country have been divided. It does not mean that Russian withdrawal would not have an effect on operation. It is just that it would not be as significant as it would have been back in the 20th century. In 2020, NASA will not use Russian spacecraft for the transportation of personnel and cargo to the ISS. It has instead found private partners and Elon Musk's SpaceX is the most prominent of them. Furthermore, the United States government has also gained the capability to launch its missions to the ISS. And fortunately, NASA is committed to collaborating with other partners till 2030. NASA has not been made aware of decisions from any of our partners, though we are continuing to build future capabilities to assure our major presence in low Earth orbit," said Bill Nelson, NASA Administrator, in a statement. Although there are no immediate concerns, issues might arise later on to replace the Russian cycle of support from another country. If Russia ends up leaving the ISS earlier than 2025 due to the Ukraine crisis, it will be difficult to quickly develop the Russian support cycle for the ISS. Russia is still one of the leading manufacturers of rocket engines, and if the country chooses to stop supporting the ISS, the progress on the new mission can be halted. Fortunately, the United States government has started the search for new potential partners should Russia choose to leave before 2025. Russia is not an ideal country in the eyes of most Westerners, and its recent adventure in Ukraine has made us even more concerned. Some have even gone on to call it a rogue state, which certainly raises legitimate concerns and questions about Russia's space ambitions. The statements from the Russian officials are also not very reassuring. Russia has demonstrated the capabilities to shoot down satellites, which have made it evident that it can indeed destroy the ISS. But the question is, can Russia afford to? And right now, the answer is straight up no, because Russia, despite having the most advanced propulsion technology, does not have enough to build its own space station. At best, Russia can attach its own docking station to the existing International Space Station. So, in a way, Russia still depends on the ISS, but it has the capabilities to create its own exclusive laboratories on it. For now, there is not much to worry about as far as NASA and ISS missions are concerned. The withdrawal of Russia can make things a little difficult, but the world has already started looking for alternatives. But what's most concerning is the fact that geopolitics has started to affect projects that offer benefits to all mankind. And if things keep going this way, chances are that countries will take their battles to space as well. Militarization of space is the last thing we need in this world as it can make all the space infrastructure vulnerable. The world of today cannot afford any more escalation as it can put all of us at risk. We hope this video was informative and fun. Stay connected with us to learn more about what is going on in outer space. We will see you in the next one.